staffing shortages and an increase of inmates creating a challenge at 201 Poplar. It seems the state isn't even making it easier. WREG's investigators found out there's a long list of convicted inmates who should be serving time in a state-run facility. <laughs> yeah, yet they haven't been transferred. And on top of that, our chief investigator Jessica Gertler finds out just how little the county is being reimbursed. 201 Poplar has seen an increase in inmates. The increase in inmate population is presenting an, another unique challenge. Shelby County Chief Deputy Anthony Buckner says the jail is reaching 85% capacity. And as the beds fill on the floor, it backs up the entire building. WREG investigators found out there could be more beds available at the jail. Through the Tennessee Records Act, we uncovered this list from the sheriff's office. As of August 19th, there were nearly 140 convicted inmates at 201 Poplar, awaiting a bed at a Tennessee Department of Corrections facility. That's right, those inmates should be in TDOC custody, but instead wait at 201 Poplar to be picked up. He took the life of Alvin Motley. The list includes Gregory Livingston, a security guard sentenced in May to life in prison for killing a man at a Kroger gas station. The average time the inmates on this list have waited for TDOC to pick them up, 252 days. We asked the state if they were aware of the ballooning population at 201, why they haven't picked up the inmates, and when they plan to get them. The only statement they gave us, TDOC inmates housed in local jails are regularly reviewed for transfer. On top of that, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office tells us it costs about $100 to house and feed one inmate each day but the state only reimburses them $39. That means the county has lost about $1.8 million by housing the inmates on this list. And that number grows with each passing day. TDOC wouldn't comment on that either. We did find this report released by the TDOC in June. It states between June 2023 and June 2024, there were 3,900 inmates on average in backup. The report went on to state some offenders are held in backup at a local jail while awaiting transfer to a TDOC facility, adding this is due to a lack of room for all offenders in TDOC facilities. The U.S. Department of Justice released recent data showing Tennessee's prison population is growing faster than the majority of states. Over the last three or four years, the legislature has exponentially increased the length of sentences, and now that's catching up with us. This attorney told our next star station in Nashville another big reason. Some sentences now come with no possibility of parole and early release. We found out from that state report that the average number of inmates awaiting a TDOC bed has steadily increased statewide. All the wild jails, like 201 Poplar, deal with other issues. And I'll just say this, we're in a perfect storm. A perfect storm of challenges, from a crumbling, outdated building, more inmates facing violent offenses, and staffing issues. While we would wish we had 300 more correction officers, um, right now we're trying to do more with less. We're trying to be strategic in how we house inmates. We're trying to be strategic in how we place staffing. Buckner says a new jail would bring the most relief. But until that happens, they're planning for every scenario. We're having conversations now about contingency plans, about where to house overflow inmates if we get to a point where we're at capacity. Investigating for your news leader, Jessica Gertler, WRG News Channel 3.